Hello friends. So in our session we were discussing about our fourth chapter more on PowerPoint presentation 2007. So it's our part six and now we are going to discuss two more points. The first point is about action button and the second point is about sound. So let us discuss what is actually these two functions. So first one is action button. Actually action button is a special type of auto shape that creates a button on your slide. You can use this button to define the desired action whatever you want like play, pause, uh, forward, rewind, everything. When the user clicks the button PowerPoint performs the action defined by the user for the button. So simply these all are the points about action button. And then you can assign both a shape for the button and an action to be taken when the user clicks the button. So it's just similar to our button. Whenever we are clicking on any option, any button, it will do some kind of the action for a button can be activating a hyperlink, running a program, running a macro or playing a sound. So the first thing activating a hyperlink. What do you mean by hyperlink? In the previous session, we have gone through the point hyperlink or link. It is same as link, same thing but different name. That is only different. So whenever we are clicking on the hyperlink, we will be jumped to a new location. Maybe it is in the same website, same document or in any other website. Then running a program. That means you can open any program, you can work with any program. Then running a macro. Macro means if we are doing a task repeatedly, repeatedly then we can make the same task as a macro and we can play it out. Then playing a sound. So in the case of presentation, we can play some kind of sound. To add an action button to the slide, what we have to do? Let us check what are the steps that we can do whenever we need the option called action button. So I'm just giving the name action button here. After that, in this area, in this box, I need to enter my action button. So, I'm taking you to the tab called Insert. Which tab? Insert. Then, in that tab, we have the third do illustration. Illustration. But you can have the action button here also. The same thing we can have inside shapes. In link group, we can have the option called action. And also in the illustration group, we can have the option called a shape. So here I'm clicking and in the bottom area, we can have the area for action button. This one is for playing things, for moving to any other portion, just moving to back, moving to next. So these all options are available here. So from this area, I'm choosing this option, forward or next forward or next then whenever i'm coming to this area i'm getting this plus mark with my mouse cursor so simply just you need to click and drag the shape accordingly how much bigger you need the shape you can fix it then here you are getting the action settings dialog box and here we have two tabs two tabs first one is mouse click second one is mouse over mouse click and mouse over what is the difference between mouse click and mouse over yes somebody said yes mouse click means we are clicking on a particular option mouse over means we are just moving nearby that option or just moving above that option then it will give you some kind of information so i'm choosing mouse click here we have action on click action on click 
So whenever we are clicking on our option, we have to get some option. We have to get some idea. So here, this is none and I need something. I need a hyperlink. So I'm choosing the second radio button that is hyperlink. Hyperlink 2. Here I can get a drop down box. In that box, we have many more options like next slide, previous slide, first slide, last slide, last slide view, the end show. Then we have many more options here so that you can choose any option from here. Currently, I am choosing the option first slide. First slide. And also, I am getting the privilege to add in sound with my action button. So, this is play sound. This is play sound. So, if I am checking this box, then I can get one more drop down list. From these drop down lists, you can choose any option. So, currently, I am choosing the option arrow. Arrow. And I am clicking on OK. Simply, I have clicked on OK. And what we have to do is, I just show you how it is working. So, I am just clicking on from current slide option for my presentation. And I am just taking you to the previous slide and coming to this slide. You can see the button is already present there. Button is already present there. And I am getting an uh, icon for my cursor like a hand symbol. Whenever I am clicking on that, it is moved to the first slide in my presentation. And also it is giving me a sound. Which sound I have chosen? Arrow. That was arrow. Clear. I think it's okay. Then these all are the points about action button. So simply what we have to do is go to insert tab. I'm taking you to the illustrations group. From here I'm choosing shape option. Then in the bottom area you can have the action button. So you can choose any option from these part. This is for Come on, this is for back, this is for next or forward. Then many more options are there and also you can customize your button. You can customize your button. So these all are the available options for action button. So simply you can use this. And next I am taking you to the next portion. That is about, come on, that is about sound, sound. Is it possible to add any kind of sound in the presentation? Can I add any sound in the in my presentation? Yes, of course. Whenever I am presenting my things, I can add some kind of sound in my presentation. If I am moving my slide, I can add sound. If I am placing any element, placing any uh, item in my uh, slide, like I am entering some data, I am inserting some image, any object I am inserting, each and every time I can pick any sound for my particular data which I am adding in my slide. So simply sounds are coming here. PowerPoint allows you to add audio files to add audio files to the presentation. Add audio files to the presentation. It also allows you to record audio and insert it in the presentation. So it's very easy to insert your own audio. You can customize the presentation with your voice itself. If you are not able to uh, directly go to any meeting, you can fix any sound for the same. You can fix it inside the presentation itself and you, your friend can present it. Then you can use the recorded audio file and the background music when objects or slides appear on the slide or screen. Then how we can add the sound? How we can add the sound to a presentation. So the same thing again we have to go to the tab called a insert. Which tab? Insert. Then after that I am taking you to the tab insert. Then we are going to the last group. What is that? Media. Media click group or media group. And then you can find out an option called audio. Audio. So we have gone to insert tab, moved to the last group called the media or media click group. From there, 
we have to choose the option called audio i can view a uh, a drop down list there and now i'm clicking on that i'm getting three options the first one is audio from file just guess what will be that audio from file that means the audio already present in your system the audio already present in your system in your device next one is clip art audio what do you mean by a clip art clip art audio clip art audio means you are selecting any music any song from the clip art gallery clip art gallery then record audio easily we can record our own audio so mainly we are getting three options first one is audio from file then easily we can choose any audio file from our system so simply you just need to click on this first option then you will be loaded to the location in your device the location in your device and you can select any audio file then the next option you can use is the second one clip art audio clip art audio then by choosing this option what we can do you can select some voice some sound from clip art gallery clip art gallery so we have learned two points now first one was first one was what 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 was, what was that audio from file next one is clip art gallery so here we can see some more options like the uh, uh, clap cheers telephone so i am choosing telephone from here so whenever i am choosing this option this can be applied to our slide our slide so it's changed a little bit now i am going to again present it i am clicking on slide show clicking on from current slide then you can see a small icon is displayed here a voice icon an audio button is here why it is yes it is just because it is giving you the indication that some audio or some sound is fixed here so whenever we are coming to this area we are getting a play button and i am i am able to hear that voice that audio simply again coming to this area i am clicking on this play button and also i can fix the wall i can fix the sound uh, how much i am fixing the all volume so i can choose these option easily then this is the way to add any clip art audio clip art audio then again i am taking you to the insert tab go to media then audio here you can have a third option for record audio so record audio what we can do we can just fix any any name for our audio currently i am giving the name like a recorded one recorded one after that i am clicking on the icon here available here hello 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 after that if you need to pause it then you can click here otherwise you can click okay so i have just recorded my voice and i am going to just send it again so we are going to slide show we are going to from current slide there you can find the audio button and i am clicking on play hello 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 after that if you need to pause it then you can click here otherwise you can click okay okay so this is the way to add the sound to the presentation So what are the ways? How many ways were there to add a sound to your presentation? First one was, first one was audio from file. That means you are choosing some audio from your device, from your device. So now I have fixed some voice. Okay. Now I have shown you the two type of voice making method. First one was just going to the clip art gallery. Second one. by using my recorded voice so this is the topic of this session this particular session so after adding this audio can we uh, do some modification can we do something else let us check what are the points uh, regarding to this audio or sound 
The audio icon on the slide indicates that an audio file is a part of the slide. The time to start an audio clip during the slideshow is defined in the settings under Sound Tools tab. So can you find the Sound Tools tab there? Sound Tools tab. What was that? Whenever we are selecting this option, we are choosing our audio and after choosing that audio, we can have the idea where is that sound tool option. So I am currently clicking on this option. You can see audio tool. What is this? <coughs> sound tool itself. Audio tool. Then next one, click on the audio icon and press the delete key to remove an audio file from the slide. Let us check. Can we do that? I am clicking on this audio icon. Clicking on delete. Clicking on delete. Is it moved? Yes, it's moved. So it's very simple to add and remove the audio to my presentation, to my slide. So it's very easy to insert and also delete. Then to define when to start an audio clip. Actually, we have inserted some audio to our slide. But we can fix the time also. We can fix the time like the uh, when it has to be started in our system when it has to be started. So simply again I am taking you to the uh, audio. From that I am choosing the option with uh, clip, art, clip art audio. I am choosing clap cheers. Clap cheers. And after that I have added this to my system. Then whenever I am clicking on this I am getting the option audio tool. Audio tool and also playback, playback. So here you can see start, which option, start. So why we are using this? We are using it for fixing something. What, what we have to fix? To fix the sound option, yeah. To fix the sound option, what are the sound options that we are getting from this? Three options are the first one is automatically, second one, one is on click, Play across slide. Automatically is used to make the sound automatically whenever the slide is presented on your screen. The next one is on click. On click. In your textbook, it is listed like when click. When click. That means whenever you are clicking on the slide, changing moment, suddenly it will be activated. Next one is Play across. Play across. And why we are using play across? Play across means in the entire slide presentation, you will have the same chant, same music. So, currently I am choosing um, on click. No, automatically. Whenever the screen is presenting my that slide, automatically the sound will play. So, I am choosing automatically simply. Then this is the way to change or fix any starting time for my audio clip. So this is the way to do the same. And after that, you can change it accordingly. If you would like to change the time uh, time limit to when click or on click, then play across slide. You can change it. And also, you can move the sound icon to any other location. Currently, I have just moved it to another location. I have added two audios when I am moving them in two different locations and after that I am removing one from here then I am again removing one from here and again I am removing my audio. So this is the simplest method, simplest way to work with sound. So what we have learned in this session guys, action buttons and sound. Action buttons means if we would like to do some action, we have to use some kind of button we can easily use the action buttons available in shape option then what what is the next option sound sound means whenever we are using the presentation we can make any kind of sound and even if we are moving any slide we are inserting any uh, item any object in our slide everything we can fix it with a proper wall then you can see the question part which I have given to you in this week. So this is our part 6 
ending portion. So my question number 11. Question number 11. When the user clicks the dash, PowerPoint performs the dash defined by the user for the button. When the user clicks the dash, PowerPoint performs the defined, sorry, the dash defined by the user for the button. Next one, question number 12. The time to dash an audio clip during the slideshow is defined in the settings under the dash, dash, tab. Dash, dash, tab. So just go to our session properly, uh, go through the slides properly, listen the points, whatever we have discussed and please do find the answer. Best of luck and please do fill the answer before the time. Don't wait for the 9 o'clock itself. Okay, before the time please do your homework and uh, you are getting the same area to type both answers. Just simply don't fill anything, write your answer correctly. So best of luck guys, we will meet in our next session. So till then, bye.